from Chamonix, France. Noisy. I'm coming to you for stage 17 of the 2016 Tour de France from Bern in Switzerland and I'm going to pick the boys up. Mate, that view was off the chain. This is probably one of the most beautiful cities in terms of scenery and architecture and buildings that I've ever seen in my life. Most days, sprint days and medium days, I'll use the, the foil, which is good for sprints. It's also quite stiff. For me, the Addict is, it's a little bit lighter. It's not a big, it's not a huge difference, um, but it is more comfortable also. And for me, it's better on the descents, a bit more uh, responsive on the descents. So that's why I like <clears throat> to use the Addict. So I have my 38 millimeter wheels, which again are the lightest option that we have. Uh, I have my sprint shifters, which I've specifically placed uh, so when I'm on the top of the bars, I can uh, I can use my sprint shifters when I'm climbing. Uh, I've got a 140 millimeter stem, or 130, not quite sure. Uh, but it's all pretty standard. Uh, Syncross equipment, which is also made from Scott. Uh, Durace with my SRM. I've got 25 millimeter tires on. No idea the difference between 23s, 25s, and 28s. So I just uh, I use what they give me. I think it's a good good section in the middle. Same with the wheels. It's what they give me. It's the lightest. It's the lightest. Last night when I went home, I said, guys. Give me the lightest bike possible tomorrow and, and that's what they've given me this morning. So I'll be using a 36 inner chain ring with a 28 sprocket on the back. Uh, lots of climbing, probably a fair bit of time in Gruppetto so it's going to be important for me to keep the leg speed. I'm Charlie Vigilius from Cannondale Drag Pack. And I'm just going to tell you a bit about Pierre Rolland's bike today. It's a Cannondale Super 6 Evo with a special paint job to commemorate uh, Pierre's daughter Jade and also his stage wins in uh, Alpe d'Huez in the past on the tour. It's a special bike because he has a special chain uh, to reduce friction which needs to be changed every day. So on the tour he has 21 chains. He also has special big jockey wheels which again give him a performance advantage. He has uh, commemorative marks on his stem for his Tour de France stage win on Alpe d'Huez. He runs uh, Mavic wheels, which today are CCUs considering the, the weather conditions. Physic saddle and uh, Mavic tires. Super, super bike for uh, all round conditions of the Tour. These bikes are so light that to get them to meet the UCI regulation weight of 6.8 kilos, they need to put um, lead weights inside the bottom bracket and depending on the size of the rider, it can be up to 150 grams of extra weight they have to add. I'll tell you what, this place is so beautiful. We're right on the foreshore. We've just called into a little town. I'll tell you what the name of the town is in the moment, but it is so pretty.
So we just stopped in Morge, I'm told by Francois, our award-winning journalist. But uh, we just had absolutely delicious pizza. We're right on the foreshore of the lake here. Mont Blanc. Just Mont, Blanc Mont Blanc's in the distance. If you, get, you probably can't see it on this, this lens, but there's a snow-capped peak right the way through there. Living the dream, aren't we? Living the dream. And then in a week, I'm back to work. A reality. Say, isn't it limping the dream? Yeah, I'm limping <laughs> the dream, as Rob says. That's my hashtag. Limping the dream. <laughs> Legends, I just arrived in my apartment. Uh, I'm staying at Chamonix, which is a, I think I said that right, which is a, uh, a ski resort in the mountains here. Uh, it is absolutely beautiful. This apartment is fantastic, but that's cool. But everything about this place is sick. Check it out. So I don't know if you can see it, but there's a glacier running down here and it's literally, it's like it's just there. I think it's there. You're not ready for the Olympics. <laughs> <laughs> Just cheesy jokes left, right and centre. 